Guam is a small Pacific island to the east of Japan and to the north of Australia, and it is a territory of the United States. During the hostile occupation of Guam during World War II, from 1941 to 1944, many of the local Chamorro natives were made to suffer and endure brutal torture and die agonizing deaths at the hands of their occupiers, the Imperial Army of Japan. The Chamorro natives, although not yet American citizens, were loyal to the United States. During the occupation, many of the Chamorro natives risked their lives by secretly possessing U.S. flags and other U.S. related items that were strictly prohibited by the occupying force. When the Japanese ship, the Argentina Maru, sailed from Guam to Japan on January 10, 1942 carrying American POWs, all American prisoners of war were accounted for except six Navy sailors. Scores of native Chamorro people harbored and fed the American service members, but only one survived the three-year occupation period. Three of the six sailors were discovered in the Menengan area in September 1942 and were beheaded by the Imperial Army. Another two were later found and shot in Machanaunau. But it was Tweed that was a thorn in the side of the Japanese. To both the Imperial Army and Chamorros, Tweed represented the United States, but in vastly different perspectives. To the Imperial Army, he was a threat and a sore point in their desire to extinguish the influences of America upon Guam. To the Chamorros, Tweed's presence and continued existence symbolized hope in America's return to Guam. As a result, many people aided him to evade capture by members of the Minsaibu, the policemen and investigators. Those who felt this way cited a responsibility to the United States in helping Tweed keep his freedom. Authorities tried all throughout the occupation to arrest the Navy radio man, questioning many, torturing some. Authorities did indeed execute people, using Tweed as a rationale. As U.S. forces approached Guam, the efforts to capture him intensified. Among those executed just prior to the July 21st liberation was a popular Catholic priest, the Reverend Jesus Baza Duenas. Despite all the brutalities inflicted upon the local populace, the secret of Tweed was kept just that, a secret. All Imperial Army efforts to capture him failed. Tweed, who was then living in a cave overlooking the northwest coast of Guam, eventually signaled a Navy destroyer, the USS McCall, which was shelling the island prior to the July 21st invasion. Tweed was picked up by a small boat from the ship on July 10, 1944. In the liberation, the U.S. forces suffered over 7,000 casualties. More than 17,500 Japanese defenders died. In the 1970 Chamorro War Reparations Commission, it listed over 700 Chamorro people who died as a result of the occupation during World War II.